All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Hopefully by the time this comes out, it is on the other side of the planet to me. Should be Happy New Year's. Hello. Well, happy New Year's. I thought I'd do a Happy New Character. Uh, not a new save, new character. Now, if you've seen my characters videos, you notice I have a lot of female characters. Um, and very few male characters. And so today, I wanted to add one. But I wanted to make it sort of have a rich background, rich story. And we're at his home right now. Yes, this is the Dawn Guard DLC home. Um, I'm um, sorry, Heartfire. Dawnstar home. But it's got some interesting stuff behind it. Alright? So, I was realised I was lacking a Nord character. And that's pretty odd for a game that's situated in Skyrim, which is the home of the Nords. I've got no male Nord character. It just doesn't make much sense. You know, I've got, I've got a couple of Imperials, <laughs> but I've got no Nords. And I wanted a character, I thought this character a long time ago, but I was going to put it as a female. But I thought it'd be a lot more richer experience as a male. Now, this character's called The Last Knight. So, the way that I wanted to do this is I wanted like a Last Knight character with the whole um, Creation Club content, which was an absolute shit show of the Divine Crusader, right? Anyone that's played Oblivion knows how hard that armor was to get. You had to find nine hidden locations, pray at these altars, uh, do all these puzzles and quests, and stay alive. And then once the quest was done for the, for the Holy Crusader stuff, if you wanted to wear the armor, you had to continue to be a good guy. If you continued to murder people and steal from them, you lost the rights to wear that armor. And if you wanted to get that armor back, you had to go to all these hidden nine way shrines again to learn the um, yeah, to be able to wear the armor again to appease the gods. It was a nightmare. And then the Creation Club stuff comes out and they give it to two cutthroats that are no doubt rapists, thieves and killers. So that shit really annoyed me. So I don't really consider it any part of law. I just I use it for my own stories. And this is what I'm doing. So this is called The Last Night. Now they could have done an amazing sort of added content to give us some lore on what happened to the Knights of the Nine because no doubt the Knights of the Nine would have refused the White Golden Chordate since religious groups aren't really big on adhering rules on their religion. Um, the Nords, for example, don't like the idea that Talos doesn't exist anymore, so they went to war over it, mainly. Kind of. And they would have been put to the sword, the Knights of the Nine. They would have been surrounded by the Dominion and they would have been butchered and the artifacts and all that stuff would have been taken. Now, this is sort of my imagination of what would have happened to the Knights of the Night. They could have seriously had one knight get out of there and travel to Skyrim with some items and then bury him deep in a Dwemer ruin or a Nordic tomb. And when you go there, you find a dead body wearing the reforged armor, which could have been the Knight's armor. Now, like, not the Crusader's armor, but the Nordic knight that survived. And you fight, fight his ghost, you get like the sword or the mace of the Crusader, the, the item that he got away with and his armour. That would have been really cool. Cool picture idea to get a Knight of the Nine armour, a Knight of the Nine, not the Knight of the Nine, and maybe an artifact, like a weapon, like a mace or a sword. Anyway, this is the last Knight's home. This will be my male Nord um, companion. So the man's backstory, right, go inside of my sort of, what I think happened to the Knights of the Nine. I think they were put to the sword, because quite simply, I don't believe a religious group would accept removing one of their gods from their pantheon. Now, the last night, he saw what was going on. Yeah, he was fighting with his brothers, the other knights. But shit started to go bad and he was cut off from the main group. He, and ended up killing the Dominion that were trying to kill him. He saw all hope was lost and there was no chance of survival. So he ran. It might seem cowardly, but again, <coughs> it's survival. He went back to Skyrim, where he first came from, and laid low. Became a mercenary. Fought with a blade. But again, you got a skilled knight, a holy knight, that is now a mercenary. Eventually, the knight could afford to buy his own land, build his own home. Where he met a woman, and then, you know, a wench. And he fell in love, and they eventually had a family. This is one of his sons. Good day, friend. Keeping well? Need his something? wife. To the steward, so I could buy chickens and stuff. and his other son and his only daughter. So, I gave him a family. I wasn't going to give him some children, but I thought that was a nightmare enough. Um, like, children, children. 
but I decided three kids was enough. Maybe the next playthrough I might expand it. But yeah, this they basically I've set them up with AI where they'll they'll bugger off, they'll go outside, they'll farm in the day, wander around, use idols, use furniture, come inside, eat. I meant to eat here, but you know, it doesn't really always work out well. For some bloody reason. I could assign them exactly to these chairs. <laughs> but that's extra AI work that I can do later on. But yeah, this is kind of what they do. And at like I think 10 o'clock, they'll all go to sleep. So set game hour to 22. So husband and wife will sleep in the bedrooms. The two brothers will sleep up in the single beds up here. And since she's the only girl, she should get her own double bed. So the idea is that, you know, he's been in hiding for a very long time. It's been one of the last nights of the night. And... Where you going? You clown. And... So, you know, you've seen dragons start to return. Might go naked. I don't want to see. Mm -hmm. Ah, let's go naked. You've always meant to go to sleep. Meant to go to fucking sleep. Anyway, that's the way I stuff I can tune out later. So he sees dragons, and the word for the and, yeah, a call for aid has been. Let me just check this for a second. Clear ownership. Reset AI. I put that there for a reason. So, yeah, a call for aid has come out and he's, he eventually follows the call. You know, that is, this is worthy of a night of the nine, something that he could actually do. And this would be the perfect opportunity for him to sort of redeem himself as someone that ran away from his brothers and, you know, was the sole survivor. So, I, why don't you boys go to sleep? Do I got to like life's treating you well, friend? Up your AIs and shit. Anyway, that's all that's gonna happen. So we're gonna go downstairs, and I'm gonna. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think I gave. Nope, my bad. Whatever. So let's get down to the basement. All right. I didn't want him to have any artifacts. I wanted him to be cut off from the main force. So yeah, in the vents. Of beyond Skyrim, you know, much later on in the future, beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil, I'm pretty sure they're going to have their own Knights of the Nine quest, where you're able to find the artifacts of the Nine. Maybe there's surviving Knights. Maybe those Knights, other Knights got away. Where some of them died at the Chantry, but some of them got away and spread the gear all over the place. And hopefully they'll have some lore on what happened to the Knights of the Nine. But here we are. The reforged armor is what I use for his main armor because it looks very Nordic. The winged helmet, it's got the fur cloak. It looks like something that a Nord knight would have made. And that's what they foolishly use this armor for, not the reforged armor of the Knights of the Nine. It would have been absolutely perfect for a Knights of the Nine. The shield doesn't even look like the Crusader shield, so I just use that as a Knights of the Nine shield. Neither does the sword. It doesn't actually look like the Crusader sword. I'll show you what it actually does look like, and it's part of another mod. Crusader. Oh my god. It's um, Museum of the Dragonborn or Tales of the Dragonborn or something like that. So this looks a lot more like it. This, I think, is part of the Mercy of Armors. So this one's just the one that Maddie made a very long time ago. Maddie also made the Creation Club content. So he made this one in like 2012 or 13, and then eventually the Creation Club one. This is the Dragonborn Museum one what it's called. So, I think that's the CC one. CC one doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. Like, this is it right here. It looks, it looks nice. The shield, though, looks appalling. It looks like a common guard shield that you would have gotten, you know? Like, it looks nothing like the Crusader shield. We'll, we'll actually see one soon. That looks actually better, to be honest with you. It looks like a better Crusader shield than whatever the hell that is. But, 
DPS. So I just use this as a Knights of the Nine Shield, which is a common knight. You know, maybe they've got their own gear set. You know, each knight either has his own blade or has a blade that represents. Oh, I still have to show you. Crusader Sword. Is that a fucking fool, I tell you, laddie? Alright, so the mace doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that looks quite similar to uh, Creation Club stuff. But we come over, here it is, right here. This is the best representation of the Crusader Sword. This one right here. This, on the other hand, doesn't really look like it. It's got, you know, it looks more like a rustic Nordic sort of steer. It looks like it was crafted in a forge. And it looks quite nice. So, I don't use it as an actual Crusader sword. I use it as a Knight of the Nine sword. Just like this armor. It's a Knight of the Nine. It's a Nordic Knight of the Nine. And yeah, this is kind of where he spends his time alone, normally. He's got the Nine Pantheon. He's got his armory, his weapon over there. And yeah, he just lived his life as a mercenary until he was able to afford all this. And he lived long enough because, again, he's a skilled knight. He was trained by the Knights of the Nine. And so... I do want to play as him a little bit, and then have him sort of like see a dragon off in the distance, and finally decide that it's time to put the armor back on, and it's finally time to redeem himself as a proper knight of the nine, protecting the world. And give him a little haircut with uh, the Proteus mod, clean shaven, sort of reduced hair, and he'll join the Dragonborn. But the Dragonborn has got Felmore soldiers under her command and Stormcloak soldiers and Imperial soldiers all the factions that are end up joining her so he's going to have to clean shave and be unrecognisable because he doesn't want to come home maybe we'll sleep in this oh my god nope and they're like make me naked um no I don't think you are I don't, I don't know Doesn't actually let you, eh? That's kind of... Not very good when it comes to uh, Creation Club content. That... <laughs> creation... No. DLC. My wife won't be able to sleep. It's anyway. Kind of dark in here. I'll have to find you all this AI shit up and have a look at it later on, but... This is his family. And if he survives, if he joins the Dragonborn and he lives through it... There's a good chance he will, hopefully. He'll be able to return home and return back to the farming lane. Somewhat redeem himself as a knight of the night. This is the last night. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It's a lot of detail into a, just a follow-up that we use for a background character. And I thought this would be a place to actually put him in Skyrim. So he's got a home base, somewhere to go back to. Not just some carbon folder that will die or disappear when the war's done. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.